Chapter 9. So all Israel was recorded by genealogies, and indeed they were inscribed in the book of the kings of Israel. But Judah was carried away captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. And the first inhabitants who dwelt in their possessions in their cities were Israelites, priests, Levites, and the Nethinim. Now in Jerusalem the children of Judah dwelt, and some of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Benai, of the descendants of Perez, the son of Judah. Of the Shilonites, Asaiah the firstborn and his sons. Of the sons of Zerah, Jeuel, and their brethren, six hundred and ninety. Of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasanuah. Ibniah, the son of Jerocham, Elah, the son of Uzai, the son of Mikrai, Meshulam, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Reuel, the son of Ibnijah and their brethren according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty-six. All these men were heads of a father's house in their father's houses. Of the priests, Jediah, Jehoiarib, and Jachin, Azariah the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the officer over the house of God. Adiah, the son of Jerocham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malkijah, Maasai, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazerah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshelameth, the son of Imer, and their brethren, heads of their fathers' houses, one thousand seven hundred and sixty. They were very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azraikam, the son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Merari. Bakbakar, Hiresh, Gilal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikrai, the son of Asaph. Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Gilal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netaphathites. And the gatekeepers were Shalom, Akub, Talmon, Achaiman, and their brethren, Shalom was the chief. Until then they had been gatekeepers for the camps of the children of Levi at the king's gate on the east, Shalom the son of Korah, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren from his father's house, the Korahites, were in charge of the work of the service, gatekeepers of the tabernacle. Their fathers had been keepers of the entrance to the camp of the Lord. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, had been the officer over them in time past. The Lord was with him. Zechariah, the son of Meshelamiah, was keeper of the door of the tabernacle of meeting. All those chosen as gatekeepers were two hundred and twelve. They were recorded by their genealogy in their villages. David and Samuel, the seer, had appointed them to their trusted office. So they and their children were in charge of the gates of the house of the Lord, the house of the tabernacle by assignment. The gatekeepers were assigned to the four directions, the east, west, north, and south and their brethren in their villages had to come with them from time to time for seven days. For in this trusted office were four chief gatekeepers. They were Levites, and they had charge over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged all around the house of God, because they had the responsibility, and they were in charge of opening it every morning. Now some of them were in charge of the serving vessels, for they brought them in and took them out by count. Some of them were appointed over the furnishings, and over all the implements of the sanctuary, and over the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the incense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. Mattathiah of the Levites, the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had the trusted office over the things that were baked in the pans. And some of their brethren of the sons of the Kohathites were in charge of preparing the showbread for every Sabbath. These are the singers, heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites, who lodged in the chambers, and were free from other duties, for they were employed in that work day and night. These heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites were heads throughout their generations. They dwelt at Jerusalem. Jael, the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Meachah, dwelt at Gibeon. His firstborn was Abdon, then Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gidor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth begot Shimeam. They also dwelt alongside their relatives in Jerusalem with their brethren. Ner begot Kish. Kish begot Saul. And Saul begot Jonathan, Malkashua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. 
The son of Jonathan was Meribaal, and Meribaal begot Micah. The sons of Micah were Python, Melech, Daria, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begot Jara, Jara begot Alameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begot Moza. Moza begot Binia, Rephai his son, Eleasa his son, and Azel his son. And Azel had six sons whose names were these, Azraikam, Bocheru, Ishmael, Sheariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.